Hello again guys, so this is going to be a two-part video. Uh, this first video is going to cover the, the Blender section of how to create destructibility for Arma, and the other one will be about the infusion aspect and how to import the model. So we, uh, the end goal for this is going to be to create this, as you see in this other video I have, uh, to create a, a wall destructible environment for a building in Arma. But this can be applied to other props and other aspects of the Infusion engine. Uh, yes, so uh, we are going to start in Blender. And what you want to do first is go to my GitHub. It's going to be linked in the description. And you want to download, you can download everyone. But if you only want the ones for this video, it's the building destruction tool and the asset exporter. Uh, it's going to be called something like building add on F and FBX export in the GitHub. And you want to go into a, a git extension and find cell fracture because you're going to need that too as well. And it should be in your add-ons, cell fracture here. Uh, so yes, uh, so I'm going to start off by importing a random ass model that I have found from Sketchfab. Let's see, import FBX, ghost town buildings, like that. We do not need both, I'm just going to use this one. And then I'm going to go to my AR building or in building to the center, just to align it here. I'm gonna right click just to, for my own sake and set the origin to the 3D cursor like that. So we get like a nice middle point of the center of the object. And always remember to uh, apply transforms. And that's just the uh, control A when you need to do that. So we're gonna make this wall destructible uh, in this house. So first off, we have to separate it. So we're gonna click on tab and select faces. And then I'm just gonna shift and select all the little faces inside here, like that. Looks good. Uh, so then we're gonna use separate component. Now you get a little bit of your different options here. So you can select what type of component this is. Uh, this is just for name. Uh, for the name column, so you can do that automatically. And then we can snap socket to axis. The, that will just snap the um, slot that we're going, going to create for the model, so it's easier to uh, implement when we are in uh, Infusion. Because if you see here, uh, this control tower uses bones, and all these sockets are uh, specific aspects of points in the model that where you can decide what's going to be in here so it's easier when we are going to put this all together uh, where things should be and easier to swap things out as well so we're gonna have our faces selected and separate component and we want to create a fire geo so we want to snap socket to axis and we can use auto it's going to take the closest one so it's going to be the x axis for this one just gonna click OK and apply. You should see a green tint come up, and that's gonna be the collision mesh. And it's gonna be under your original mesh, like so. But uh, one thing I noticed now is that uh, we also got a memory point that is from this, just a, a plane axis that is the system uh, Arma uses for the slots that you saw here. And we don't really need to view the collision mesh right now, so I'm just going to hide that. But what we are going to do is that we're going to create another collection. So I'm going to press New Collection. I'm going to call this Tent Delete. I'm going to see why we call it shortly uh, Tent Delete. And then I'm going to create two more collections in here. I'm going to call one Walls. And I'm going to call one. <coughs> I'm going to call one walls struct like so then i'm gonna select both the collision and the original mesh and i'm gonna move that to walls now we can more or less just hide this and i'm gonna select the wall and let's go to object and find quick fx and cell fracture like the before we do that, actually, uh, let's look at our model here. You can see it has only four 
hit is the, as not a lot. So uh, cell fracture is not gonna create a, as much of a detailed uh, look as we want. So we're gonna actually uh, subdivide this. So we're gonna edit, select all, just edit, select all, and subdivide. And then we can just choose how much cuts we want. And I think this looks good. And now we can go to object, click effect, cell fracture. And you, there's many tutorials on this uh, for it, but we're just gonna have it on own particles and we're gonna change the noise a little bit. So we get like more randomized uh, shapes. And then we're gonna click okay. And you can see it builds the mesh for us. Good, and now we can hide the original wall, and now we can edit this wall. So now we can create the shape we want for the, the structure, the hole. And we should probably use uh, this uh, up in the right corner, it's a wireframe, so we can select more, uh, all the small meshes that's also created. So we're going to make this hole like so. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, we can do a little bit more, I think. So, I think that's a good shape. Perfect. And also, we're gonna actually hide this uh, memory points collection because we don't need to see that. And now we can just select. I'm gonna either drag select, but I, to be sure, I like to go in the hierarchy. And just select the top one. Scroll down and hold shift and click everyone. Then we can press control J or just control S for a click as well. Now we have created our destructed face, just like this. Uh, for this, we also have to create a collision. So let's just do that while we're in here. Create a collision fire view. And here we can select how, how sharp we want or how, how much detail it will be shown in uh, or it should pre preserve of the model uh, so what i like to do is i like to go up uh, up top here let's set select statistics and let's see how many faces it says so it has 500 faces so we should be set to just take around half so maybe like let's just say 300 and then okay and it follows in the shape quite nicely for what we need. You generally want less faces for optimization, um, but uh, for my experience in infusion right now, it's I don't feel a big impact on uh, this low amount of faces. If you have a thousand or two thousand, it should be fine. Um, Ten thousand, you might struggle a bit, but uh, you should just try and see how it is. So uh, well, let's see here now. We have the fire shard and we can just hide this one. And let's uh, go back to the, because now we're done with the walls. We have the destruction walls. We have the uh, normal wall and we have a collision for that wall. We can hide, hide this as well. We can just do like this instead. So it's easier to hide the tenth one. And now we have to create a collision mesh for this as well. So let's see the faces. We have about a thousand faces. And then we can say like 500. We can also just test uh, with uh, 300 and see how well that will look. Or maybe 200. Let's try that. 200 works actually pretty nice as well. So we can just keep it at 200. So this you can just try and test yourself and see how how you get it, but I noticed now that the, it's moved outside of the collection here. I want it to be under here, uh, but it is also under here. So you see it creates a copy sometimes, or just like a, depending on where you have clicked on in the collection, if you clicked here and created a collection mesh or where you are, but it's no worry, just press M on that and move that to the collection. Now it merged again. Yes, nice, and then we can just look at everything. Uh, 
And now you can also preview kind of how it will look when we are going to see the destruction. This is how it was going to look in the game. When we destroy it, of course. Yes, I think we are done here now. So we can actually start exporting this. Um, so let's find the export tool like so. And before that, I'm actually going to prep this a little bit. I'm going to go to a folder I have created for, for this. I created the face, walls, and walls destruction tool. Just to keep it all in line and easily uh, to be found if you want. We're going to start by exporting the base model. So you just need to click the base model. Uh, you actually, and for, sorry, for this, you don't actually have to click the base model. Uh, we're going to have to go to export Arma. Find the, the folder that's created, base, I'm going to also call this base, base FPX. Uh, I don't need to align this one or orient it to the center because it's already there. So this one should be just good. I'm going to have full scene selected and delete collection temporary. Like this, temp delete and find the collection we have made. And what you're going to see now, it's going to remove all the parts that's not the base because that's how we're going to have a, a model that does not include uh, any other parts from this destruction that we're creating because it's two separate uh, it's going to be two separate prefabs so we need two separate models for this so that's why it needs to be deleted uh, temporarily though of course and uh, we can hide this one now um, so no confusion happens and hide this one then we can take the walls the normal walls we can just hide this one as well uh, I just realized that I forgot to show you how to do the uh, collision setup. So we have to go back a bit. Uh, you need also the infusion tool for this to work. Um, sorry, no, you don't need it to work, but it's highly recommended because it's easier to work with. So uh, with infusion, we can do this in the engine as well but it's just simpler to do it in blender um, it's just a, a lot faster so we have to select the utm uh, collision mesh and collect the material tools collider setup and then we can select uh, what type of material this is going to be so let's just say it's going to be concrete and the fire geo you want to put us at the building fire like so and then it's going to change color and it's also going to create this is just an infusion tool setup but it's going to create a new one as you saw earlier this and it's just a copy of it so you can just move it to collection so we're just going to do that for all of them uh, all of the collect uh, collisions that we have so let's do it for this one as well collision setup concrete and building fire so just move this into the right folder on the walls and then we do it for this one as well. Concrete and building fire. And move to walls destruction. There we are. Now we are good. So let us do the um, do the uh, export again. So we can delete this. We don't need the other collections anymore. And we find export. We are gonna just click export and we can remove this one because it's the wrong one. Have full scene, um, turn off alignment and center, and have the temp collection on delete, temp delete. Export. And we saw the walls were moved and it came back again. And now we can do the individual parts. So let's click on the walls first, the normal one, export. And now we're going to click on individ individual part. And we will go back here to walls and call this one wall. Let's just call it wall one. Now you want to have a line axis and you want it to be centered to origin. And have it to select to 
geometry uh, geometry center so if we look at this one now it should actually fail for some reason and that's because i forgot to uh, turn off temporary delete that is very important that you do for this section so let me click this one again export delete align center and go back again to walls this wall one so yeah always remember to check this one off when you when you um export individual parts especially if they're already in your um in your folder that you're trying to export so now it should work and you saw it got moved into center and then back again so now we can do that for the destruction wall as well export it should have the presets set now so we can just go back walls call this uh, one destroyed and check yes perfect so this is going to be at the end of the blender part and i will see you guys in the infusion part